never too young to do your bit for the environment. Over 60 volunteers turned out in Melrose to free the riverside of rubbish, both small and large. Amongst those rolling up their sleeves were scout, cub and beaver groups, who were passionate about keeping the environment clean. If there's litter on the floor and on the ground, the animals could eat it and then they'll die. Just to keep the river clean, because I normally come swimming along here and a lot of people do, and just to keep it clean for people. If the environment's just full of litter and plastic, then no one's ta really taking care of it. So Save the turtles! We have the job to take care of the environment. Well, they were very enthusiastic. Uh, they were keen to uh, come out today on this marvellous Sunday morning and pick up the litter and, and the tweeds and, and make it a, a beautiful area to live in. The event was the idea of teacher Tom Rawson. After seeing litter getting into the waterways, he wanted to do something about it and got his students and locals involved too. I want them to be the passionate defenders of our, our uh, natural surroundings. And to do that, they have to have an interest in it. They have, to have, they have to feel ownership over it and they have to feel that they can actually make a real difference as they are doing today. When you speak to them, they, they really enjoy it. I mean, we're lucky that, that it's such a lovely day today, but they are really enjoying the experience. And if they enjoy the experience today, hopefully that means that they might want to be involved in future environmental projects. And it's not just here in Melrose, there are over 20 river cleans going on across the Scottish borders at the same time, from Hoyk to Greenlaw, from Peebles to Berwick. The Great Borders River Clean is part of a bigger campaign to clear up the area's towns and countryside and reduce single-use plastics. And after a hard morning's work, the volunteers were pleased with their haul. Jennifer Cordingly, ITV News, Melrose.